In this video, I'll show you how to clone a mushroom using needle biopsy. This method is simple and straightforward, making it ideal for beginners who want to create a liquid culture by cloning a mushroom. I'm also going to show you an additional method which I like to use towards the end of the video. I'm going to be starting off with a syringe which has already been used and I'll show you how to sterilize the syringe. First, just give the needle tip a wipe down to get any debris off it. Next, we are going to clean the inside of the cap because you can see here that it's quite dirty. To clean the cap, we're just gonna draw up some boiling water and then squirt it into the cap and give it a shake. Next, I'm going to flush the syringe three or four times with the boiling water, just to clean out the inside. Draw up a small amount of air, and then put the cap back on the syringe. Next, we're gonna wrap the syringe in two pieces of tin foil. If you want to be extra sterile, you can then place this into a glass jar and then sterilize it. However, I'm not going to do that for the syringe. I will be doing that for the biopsy tool. So inside this little jar, I've wrapped the biopsy tool in tin foil and I'm going to put it through the pressure cooker. You can also use this technique if you need to test if something is actually autoclavable. Put it in a glass jar, sterilize it. If it melts, it's melted inside the jar and you can just throw the jar away. Place all of your items into the pressure cooker, but make sure that they've been risen off the bottom so that they aren't sitting in the water at the bottom because if they're sat in the water at the bottom, it will flood the tin foil and your whole syringe will be soaked. Sterilize these items at 15 PSI for 30 minutes. Okay, something I forgot to point out is you also want to prepare a batch of liquid culture to go in the pressure cooker at the same time as the other items. I've got plenty of videos already on how to make liquid culture, so I'm not going to cover that in this video. I've got all the items in front of the flow hood here. That flow hood isn't actually turned on because I'm just going to show you the technique on how to get a good biopsy from the mushroom. The mushroom I'm using is an enoki. It comes from the supermarket. The stem, which we're going to be using for cloning, is not the largest. It would probably be easier if I was using a king oyster mushroom. However, I understand most people are going to be using a mushroom around this size when they do this technique. You want to give your injection port a little spray with 70% alcohol solution and put that to the side to dry. Remove the syringe from the sterile double wrapped tin foil. And you can use that as a placeholder if you want to put stuff down because the inside of that is sterile. It's probably more sterile than the rack, which has just been cleaned underneath it. The syringe and the needle underneath are sterile because they've come out of the pressure cooker and they will remain that way until you remove the cap. The first thing we want to do with the mushroom is tear off the cap of the mushroom and tear off the bottom of the mushroom. That will reveal the sterile center that runs through the middle. When you tear the stem, you want to make sure that you pull it. Don't twist it and don't bend it or else you risk breaking through the whole stem. So here you can see I do it incorrectly and then in the next clip I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. You want to push down slightly and pull. Don't tear, don't twist. You can see it's just a firm pull at the stem which will reveal the centre. You see the filaments that you can see on the inside here? These are more sterile than the outside because they haven't been exposed to the outside air until we, we 
tear it open and these filaments are where we are going to take the biopsy from. Take your sterile syringe and then we're going to push it down the stem and what you want to do is get one of them filaments to go down into the hole. Next, turn the syringe a few times and then you're going to pull the syringe out but you want to pull the syringe out in a way that the sharp end of the needle kind of snaps the filament or breaks the filament in half, it breaks it off because otherwise if you just pull it out you're just going to take the filament and then pull the needle out and the filament won't come with it. So this is an exaggerated example of how I'm doing it. You kind of pull so that the filament slices off on the sharp side of the needle. So one more time you want to pull the cap off and then pull the base off, insert the needle along the filament, you've got to pull it out whilst applying pressure so that the, the end of the needle cuts the filament. Once you've got a piece of tissue on the end of your needle, like I do here, don't sit around and look at it like I am, you want to go and inject it straight through the injection port. There you can see the small little filament is slowly making its way to the bottom of the liquid culture jar. Leave this for about a week, it'll probably get to about a centimetre in diameter and then after about two weeks you'll probably have enough liquid culture to actually use. Now I'm going to do the same again, but I'm going to use a biopsy tool. So this little tool, which is inside the glass jar, is actually for making fish bait. I got it on Amazon and I'll put the link down below. It's, it's actually quite useful because if you want to do some sort of experiment, like you're testing different agar plates or liquid culture or something, you'll be able to get the same size agar piece every time which means that you aren't having to account for the size of agar that you transfer. Okay so the technique is very similar but it's slightly different so take the cap off, take the bottom off and then you want to tear the top layer of the mushroom off revealing the sterile center and then just push the biopsy tool in, give it a turn and then pull it out and you'll get a tiny piece of tissue. I filmed this and realized that I was out of focus so I went back and then filmed it again a second time so you can have a look at it again here. You can see the back wall of the mushroom is still intact so we haven't gone all the way through the stem, we're just going through to the back wall and then turning and then pulling out in a similar fashion to how we do the needle biopsy. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.